Hello, everyone. This is Minister LT, and it's always a blessing to be in the presence of the Lord. It's an honor to praise him. It's an honor to glorify him. It's an honor to shout out his holy name each and every day. That's not a day that don't go by. I don't love thanking him. I don't love praising him. I love praising him. I love glorifying him. I love putting him first place in my life each and every day. That's not a day that don't go by. I'm always going to praise Jesus each and every day. In today's lesson today, y'all, we're going to be talking about the devil does not like marriages, y'all. And we know that. We know the devil number one um, thing is to steal, kill, and destroy. That's what the devil's been doing in some of our marriages today. But you got to remember the book of Mark 10, verses 6 through 9, God said what he brought together. He said, let no man separate what he brought together. And I believe, I believe today that whoever it is that listen to this word today, the devil not going to steal your marriage no more. That's what he's been doing. But some of y'all are giving the devil too much credit. You're giving him too much power in your marriage. And if you read the book of Job, it tells you that the devil has no power at all. But today, y'all got to learn how to take that power back. Some of y'all got to learn how to stay firm and believe in your marriages. Every marriage is going to have its course. Every marriage is going to have its bumps in the road. There's not one marriage that's going to smooth, smooth like, like a sail. Not one. We all going to have our little ups and downs, but you got to stay firm in your marriage. The word of God said what he bought together and let no man separate what he bought together. Amen. Amen. I believe and declare today that we're going to be married to our couples for a long time. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we just can't thank you enough. For this awesome and beautiful blessed day today. We can't thank you enough for our health today, for our strength today. We can't thank you enough for the food that you have prepared on our table today. We can't thank you enough for the clothes that you put on our back today. We can't thank you enough for the shelter that you provided for our for our families today. We can't thank you enough for the automobile that you provided for us so we could be able to go back and forth to work and to the grocery store or to the gym or whatever it is that the automobile is taking us. We just can't thank you enough. We can't thank you enough for the gas that you gave us to put in our car. We just can't thank you enough for the air that we breathe each and every day. We just can't thank you enough for the love that you love every last one of us. We just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy, Jesus. That's why we're here today. That's why we're here today to praise you. That's why we're here to glorify you. That's why we're here today to shout out your holy name. We just can't thank you enough for how awesome and amazing you are. You are awesome, God. You are loving, God. You're the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. For that reason right now, we just cannot thank you enough for what you do. In the mighty name of Jesus. We just can't thank you enough, Jesus. We just cannot thank you enough for what you do in our life. We just can't thank you enough, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into this word. And today I would love for y'all to turn y'all back to Mark 10. And we're going to read from verses 6 through 9. That's Mark chapter 10, and we're going to read verse 6 through 9. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive this word, shout out Amen. Let's begin. Excuse me, y'all. But at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate. That's what he said. He said, let Man, not separate. So don't let nobody separate your marriage. The devil do not like marriages. And some of y'all are let the enemy come between your marriages. And some of y'all are trying to fault the devil. Sometimes you can't even fault the devil. Sometimes you got to fault you blame yourself. Some of y'all letting your family members control your marriage. Some of y'all let some of your friends control your marriage. Some of y'all allow what y'all see on TV to control your marriages. Why? It don't make no sense. God said what he brought y'all together. He said let no man separate what he brought together in unity. So why y'all letting little small stuff break up your marriage? When you went to that altar and you went on there and you said your vows or what it is under oath to God that you promised that you're going to love that man or that woman through death till you part. 
That's what you promise God. That no matter through sickness or health, that you're going to love him and that you're going to love her. That's what you said. You made a vow to your heavenly father God. So why are you letting the enemy steal your marriage? Why are you letting the enemy destroy your marriage? It don't matter who you are in this world. If you marry or about to come marry, the enemy or the devil, whatever you want to call it, does not like marriages. His, his job is to steal, kill, and destroy. But you got to be prayed up. Because he's going to come. He's going to attack. He's going to attack from the north, the east, the west, and the south. And he can make way. He's going to try to attack in the middle. But you got to stand firmed up. You got to be prayed up. You still got to keep your fight and trust in God. Because he's going to do that. He's going to attack the husband. He's going to attack the wife. Whoever it is, he, that's what he's going to do. But some of y'all let your family members saying, oh, I don't know why you marry her for. She ain't no good. Go what you do. You start believing what the naysayers are saying. And some of your girls said the same thing. Well, her husband can buy, buy, buy her this and buy her that. And what you doing? You letting that friend or so-called friend destroy your marriage. Some of y'all looking at stuff on TV. Say, okay, this is what you really supposed to be doing in the marriage. Really, they ain't never entertainment. So why y'all let that little stuff destroy your marriage? So the enemy can come all kind of different ways. Some of y'all just looking at the enemy from one, from one point of view. The enemy going to come from the north, the east, the west, and the south at your marriage. You got to know it. You got to be aware of the devil's schemes. You got to be aware how he coming because he going to come. But God said, let no man separate what he brought together. He said, when a man leaves his mother and father, he become a man. The Bible also said when a man found a wife, he finds a good thing. I know I found a good thing. Yes, the enemy have claimed to try to take me and my wife. He ain't come once. He tried to come a whole bunch of times. But I had to shield myself. I had to protect myself. I had to pray each and every day. Not for only me, but I had to pray for my wife too as well. Because one thing the devil don't like is being married. He like to steal, kill, and destroy. So what I'm telling y'all today, y'all, Pray for one another. Lift each up in your marriage. Secure your marriage. Bond your marriage. Because God said, let no man separate what he brought together. He said, when a man found a wife, that's a good thing. He said, that's a good thing, y'all. That's a blessing when you get married. You made that vow to him. Keep your vow. Treat that vow like it's the last thing on earth. Respect that vow. Honor that vow. Don't just don't honor to your heavenly father God, but honor to your wife and also honor to your husband. Because y'all ain't two no more. Y'all are one. Y'all are one flesh. That's what y'all are. Keep the devil back to the curb. Tell the devil, say, devil, you ain't messing my marriage. You might try to come, but we're going to knock you down. You might try to keep, but we're going to kick you ten times more. That's what you need to tell the devil today. Tell the devil, say, devil, you have no place in my marriage today. So you have no place in my heart today. You have no place in my husband's heart. You have no place in my wife's heart. You have no place in my marriage. Because we are here together. We are one. And we reunite And we are bonded. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And if you receive this word today, shout out amen. I never like to leave my short broadcast without leave with a prayer. Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to take over, to guide me, direct me, and use me so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying that simple little prayer, that God is already working everything out in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt, or you can leave me a comment on my Instagram, Elitaris Withers. This is Minister LT. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.